स्वामी के बलदेव सुभद्र महारानी के श्री जगन्नाथ रथ यात्रा महामहोत्सव के हरे कृष्णा सो वी हम्बली रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द डिवोटेज प्लीज सिट डाउन जगन्नाथ स्वामी खे रिक्वेस्ट इज होलीस भक्ति विज्ञा विनाश नरसिंह स्वामी महाराज to talk about the significance of sri jagannath rath yatra before we leave simultaneously we request all the boga offering mata ji all of you please quietly bring it that way all your offerings will offer to jagannath and we give you all right all the boga offerings surely come in a line while maharaj give a talk we would like to invite his grace ajamila prabhu भक्ति स्वामी मुकुंद स्वामी महाराज टू ग्रेस दिस जगन्नाथ रथ यात्रा थैंक यू इस हॉलीनास एंड प्रभु महाराज सो महाराज टॉक अबाउट द सिग्निफिकेंट ऑफ श्री जगन्नाथ रथ यात्रा प्लीज साइलेंटली लिसन डू नॉट मेक नॉइस आफ्टर महाराज स्पीक्स देन वी मूव फ्रॉम इट थैंक यू ज्ञान
and it was performed in a very small way, just within our own tempo yard. But now, again, we are seeing the Ratiatra festival continue. That actually nothing can stop the Ratiatra festival, even though many people try. So I'm very glad to see Gorjagana, the chariot again appearing, and so many devotees coming for observing this festival. The significance of the Ratiatra in terms of devotees like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the significance is to bring Lord Krishna back to Vrindavan. Lord Jagannath is non different from Lord Sri Krishna. Indeed, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he would go to the temple in Jagannath Puri, which he would do usually every day when he was there in Puri, he would, he would only see Lord Jagannath. And he would see Lord Jagannath with, with a peacock feather and playing a flute. In other words, he saw Lord Jagannath as the son of Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda. And he saw Lord Jagannath as Gopi Kanta and Radha Kanta, one who is very dear to the gopis and particularly very, very dear to Srimati Radharani. So Lord, that Lord Jagannath is worshipped in this world by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the Rabhiyatra festival was bringing Lord Jagannath from Nilachal, which is the main temple at Puri, bringing him out of his residence in the big temple in Jagannath Puri and bringing him along the stretch which, which leads to the Gundicha temple, which is Sundarachal. So from Nilachala he came to Sundarachala. And it's in Sundarachala where this Gundicha temple is. And Lord Jagannath would enter there into the Gundicha temple. The main temple at Puri, at Nilachala, that is representing Dwarka. So Lord Krishna, had left Vrindavan and he had gone to Mathura, then he had gone to Dwarka. But after some time, after staying at Dwarka for some time, he came back again to meet the people of Vrindavan. And they met Lord Krishna at Kurukshetra. Kurukshetra is famous for two things. One thing, is for the speaking of the Bhagavad Gita. Generally we all, when we hear about Kurukshetra, we remember Lord Krishna speaking the Bhagavad Gita, and we think about the great battle which took place there. But there's another reason why Kurukshetra is also famous, and that is because of Rathiyatra. Actually, the very first Rathiyatra festival took place at Kurukshetra because Lord Krishna had come there to Kurukshetra and the gopis of Vrindavan had come to Kurukshetra. All the people of Vrindavan, Nanda Maharaja, Mother Yashoda, the gopis, they'd all come to see Krishna after many years. So Lord Krishna had gone to Dwarka and he had accepted many wives. He had his many wives. They all came with him there to Kurukshetra. So the gopis were finding it very difficult to approach Krish Lord Krishna. They could see him, but they could not go to him and speak to him as they could in Vrindavan. So they saw Krishna coming from Dwarka and he was coming as a prince. But the gopis were thinking they preferred Krishna as a cowherd boy. And they wanted to bring him back to Vrindavan. 
They thought this place, Kurukshetra, it is very noisy. So many chariots are rumbling and the elephants are moving here and there. The soldiers are moving on their horses. It's very noisy. We want to take Krishna back to Vrindavan. We know Krishna from Vrindavan. And in Vrindavan, Krishna is the cowherd boy playing the flute and dressed in the clothes of the cowherd boy in simple attire, not the dress like he's wearing here at Kurukshetra as the prince. So the gopis had the first Rati Atra bringing Krishna to Vrindavan, sitting Krishna on the chariot. The chariot is in the heart. So we all have a chariot. Here we have one chariot, but we also have the chariot of the mind. And the chariot of the mind is in the heart. We want all of you to put Lord Jagannath on your chariot of the mind. Place him on the chariot of your mind and bring him to Vrindavan. But if you're going to put Krishna on the chariot of your mind, you have to clean the mind. Just like yesterday and the day before, we had Gundicha Marjanam, the cleansing of the temple. So in the same way, we want to put Lord Jagannath on the, on the chariot of our mind. We have to clean the mind. We have to clean the mind of all the material desires, all of the lust and the greed and the jealousy and the anger, all of the dirty things which are there in the heart. We have to remove them and then we can make our heart nice and clean and we can sit Lord Jagannath there in the heart. This is something of the significance of Rati Antra. So to help us all to clean the heart, we are having the Sankirtan, chanting of the holy name. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu describes how the chanting of the holy name will take away all the dirt from the heart. Today is the Rati Atra festival. Today is the actual day of Rati Atra. Every year it is performed on this particular day, this particular time in the year. So we are observing the festival on the actual day. We have, of course, other Rati Atra festivals at different times. But today is the actual day of Rati Atra. And today is the Rati Atra in Puri and all of our temples in India, in Bangladesh and everywhere. They're having the Rati Atra today. This is the actual day. And it's a wonderful opportunity for all of us to clean the heart, to clean the heart, to make it nice and spotlessly clean. Because we want to invite the Lord of the Universe to sit there. Lord Jagannath is not just simply the Lord only of Malaysia or the Lord of this one planet, but he's the Lord of the entire creation. And he comes in his most merciful form. This form of Lord Jagannath is called Daru Murti. In other words, the Lord is in the wooden form. In the Kali Yuga, the Lord is worshipped in wood as Lord Jagannath, and also in the form of water, in the form of the Ganges, the Lord is also worshipped. This is described by Krishna Das Kaviraj in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. So when Lord Chaitanya would take part 
in the Rapiatra festival every year, he would organize the festival very nicely. Devotees would come from all over, from all different parts of Bharat Vars. They would all come to Jagannath Puri to observe the Rapiatra festival. And the people would come from many different villages, just like people would come from Shantipur, and people would come from Navadvip, and people would come from Saptagram, and all the different villages, each of the, the devotees would come. Everybody. So each of these villages, they had their kirtan party, and Lord Chaitanya would organize them. There would be four parties in the front, one on the left side, one party on the right side, and another party at the back. In all, there would be seven thank you time parties going on. And everyone would be engaged in the chanting of the holy name. There were 14 madangas being played. Two madangas in each party. And different people were appointed to be the dancers. And other people were appointed to be the lead singer. And in this way, everyone was engaged in the Sankirtan movement. The chanting of the holy names was so loud that all the heavens opened and that demigods all were hearing the chanting of the holy name. They were all attracted to come and see Lord Goranga, the Lord of the entire creation, taking part in this wonderful pastime of Rathiatra. So this Rathiatra festival now is performed all over the world. I was saying people tried to stop it. When the British were ruling India, one of the things they tried to stop was the Rathiatra festival. They didn't want people doing that worship. They tried to stop it. They failed. Today, they have big Rapiatra festivals in London itself and all over the UK. The devotees just came back from visiting USA and they told me they had attended Rapiatra in New York. And they said 15,000 people came to take part in the Rapiatra in New York. They cooked prasada for 15,000 people. And everyone got prasada, everyone was satisfied. The big festival in New York, every year they have. And similarly, they have festivals like this all around the world. Many cities in USA, in South America, in South Africa, in Durban, they have a very big Rapiatra festival. <laughs> Prabhu tells us in Nairobi also in Kenya, they have a big Rathiatra festival in so different places in Africa and we're seeing here in Malaysia also today at this time there's a festival going on also up at Bukit Martijan, our center there, they're also observing Rathiatra today. So, the, wor the worship of Lord Jagannath is truly an international affair. But Lord Jagannath is not just international, he's interplanetary, he's beyond the whole, he's the Lord of the entire creation. And he resides eternally in the spiritual world. Lord Jagannath is the form of Lord Krishna showing how much he loves his devotees in Vrindavan. This is the special significance of this form of Lord Jagannath. His hands and his legs have melted because he was hearing about the devotion of the people in Vrindavan. And his eyes are dilated in ecstasy, hearing about the love which exists between Lord Krishna and the people of Vrindavan. So this Rathiatra festival 
is an opportunity for all of us to go to Vrindavan, to develop the mood of Vrindavan, the mood of loving Krishna in that form as the cowherd boy, where he is the son of Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda. In Dwarka, he's known as the son of Vasudeva Dwarka, Vasudeva Devaki. But in Vrindavan, he's the son of Nanda and Yashoda. And he, he enjoys that loving relationship with his wonderful devotees. So this Rathiyatra festival is where we are bringing Lord Jagannath back to Vrindavan, back to his home. The Lord has been retired for two weeks. For two weeks he was not feeling well. After the Snanyatra, after his appearance on the occasion of his birthday, we had the Snanyatra and then he retired for two weeks. There was no public darshan. But now Lord Jagannath has reappeared and with his reappearance the Rathiyatra is performed. But Lord Jagannath wants to go to visit his family, to visit his relatives and friends in Vrindavan. And this is the mood of Rathiyatra. We're bringing Lord Jagannath along with his brother and sister. They're going back to Vrindavan to be with their family and friends. Now, in Jagannath Puri, Lord Jagannath will stay there in Gundicha for a week and there will be a festival and after one week then he comes back to the main temple in Puri. So they have one Rathiyatra taking Lord Jagannath to Gundicha and then another Rathiyatra bringing Lord Jagannath back. We only have the one Rathiyatra. We don't do the full festival which takes place in Jagannath Puri. Some cities like Calcutta, we do perform very big festivals. Today they have the Rathiyatra pray and the deities will stay at a melodic ground and will stay there for one week. And every day there will be a big festival, there will be lectures and there will be a lot of dramas and a lot of theatrical performances and massive prasadam distribution every day for one week and then after one week then I return to Rathiyatra bringing Lord Jagannath back to his residence to his temple so here we're having a a minor festival we're just celebrating just for one day here but anyway, you can see it's a big affair. Many people have come. We're going to take the chariot around, distribute the holy name. We have a lot of prasadam prepared to distribute. And you're all invited to join in the kirtan and to chant the holy name and dance in ecstasy of love of God. So in this way, the Rathiyatra festival is being organized here for the pleasure of Lord Jagannath. Remember, our purpose in coming here is to give pleasure to the deities, to give pleasure to Lord Jagannath, Lord Balarama, and Subhadra Maharani. We want to please them. And how can we please them? By our devotion. The Lord is the Lord is always attractive where there is devotion. So if we show that mood of devotion for the pleasure of the Lord, that will be the most pleasing thing to Lord Jagannath. And that will make the success of the Shraddha Prophet. Alright, thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Shudra Upadhi. Hare Krishna, His Grace, Simesha Prabhu.
I request you to come to the chair of the Or the people please stand up. Jagannath Swami came. Jagannath Radhi Yatra came. Srila Prabhupada came. Shiva Chaitanya Prabhu Shiva Chaitanya Prabhu Can the pick up truck please move forward Pick up truck move forward Yeah. 